it's quiz night! Hello and welcome to the treasured page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space and very, very exciting news. Which awesome digital artist has invited me to be part of their design team? It is Brigitte from Klee Blatt Creations. Oh my goodness, she is one of my favourite digital artists. I am beyond excited. So I have been like a kid in a candy store looking at all of her wonderful things on her Etsy shop, Klee Black Creations. You have seen some of her wonderful artwork before with the French Linen Botanical Journal and these are the beautiful yet to use ephemera pieces that I want to include on tags and little journaling pieces within that journal which I am finishing off in the background. Uh, we've got one more main video to do a page coming up, that's my French page, my Paris page. And because Birgitta saw that I was journaling and French linen and everything, she has a Blossom Song ephemera on her Etsy page and she's got this beautiful, uh, with all the botanical images, the blues and the lace, absolutely everything that fits with my French linen botanical journal. Look at this. This is what I've been working on for a few months now and it's coming to the end, I'm sad to, very sad to say. But the palette here was the blues, the pinks, this aqua green, black and white and grey. This is the front cover of it. There's a whole playlist. It's got silk, it's got linen, it's got lace, it's got cotton. There will be a flip through of this journal when it's complete. It's very nearly there. This is from Klee Black Creations with her Edwardian ladies and just some of the beautiful, beautiful kits that she puts together. I think this is just going to be superb in this journal for... Um, this I want definitely wanting to do something here and I think these are going to just tie in nicely. I'm going to cover up that and start doing something. I've got these wonderful tags and ephemera ticket pieces. Oh, all very exciting. So that's just going to finish off that because that was bothering me. But today I wanted to show you this. I just wanted to finish off this little lovely traveller's notebook here. We're going to have a look at that because I think that is going to enhance that one. Something to mention is these are not expensive. These are very inexpensive and the quality is off the chart. This prints out with such high resolution. The detail in here is just amazing. And now these colors aren't going to be for everybody, but for anybody doing autumn, and perhaps spring with the beautiful yellows and that sun, you know, that sunshine sort of could be rays of light. This is beautiful. So this is Colograph and this is the ephemera. And she has the kit with all the bigger pages as well. But it was the ephemera that I was interested in because this is such a small little TN. Just a, it's like a purse. Look, look, you can see with my hand. It's small. It's designed for a handbag or just taking away for a weekend. Um, I think that this is gonna be perfect for some, just some elements, just to add in here, just as extras. Um, they could be taken out or moved because it, that's the design. It's got the elastics. So I just thought I'd have a little play. I think I've printed all the pages that I want, but there are more on this kit. So I've just printed out the ones that I want. So those are slightly different colours and you've got the ledger paper coming through there. Circles which can be punched. Tags, always useful because it's just so nice when it's all done for you. And journaling cards and a belly band so I think we could use that. That looks nice that way. Um, so we'll have to play with that. And then look, all these tickets and tags. So I'm going to cut some of this out, I'm going to fussy cut this out and um, and have a little play. Um, it is quiz night, so what we're doing is we're going to, because I can't remember anything, we're going to have a go at a memory game. So I'm going to put out, I found these in a, in a charity shop and I thought, perfect, <laughs> perfect. 
perfect they'll love it well we'll just have a little go but you mustn't wind back and cheat you've got to um so we're going to have six and we're going to play a memory game so very simply i'm going to turn over the cards we're all going to attempt to remember the six cards here they're images so we'll probably be okay yeah we're going to remember the images and then we're going to do the crafts. You can craft along and do something of your own project or you can download one of the kits and have a go. And then at the end of the video, we're going to try and, re or I'm going to try and remember and you can do it too. And don't wind back unless you really can't think and leave a comment below if you got it or not. Okay, so the first one, a pair of scissors, all right. Second one, a lamp. A bicycle, okay, paint roller, pair of glasses, very useful, and a pineapple, okay? That's it. Quickly remember them. So scissors, lamp, bicycle, paint roller, pair of glasses, and a pineapple. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> so I printed this out on 80 GSM paper. It's not very thick. No, that'll take me forever. Let's go with the bigger one. I was very pleased when I just got this message out of the blue to say, would you, would you be interested in being on my design team? What? Well, I didn't think twice because I'd used Brigitte's digital kits. Um, for a long time anyway, with all her little labels and things. Oh, and another thing, look, we'd, we'd not get this done. I shall be too distracted. Um, look at these. These are, th now I've already, I bought these even before she asked. Um, monochrome labels. I love them. I love them. They're just so fun. They're different. They're sepia tones. They've got all the things that I like and they're interesting shapes and they're really small sizes and some of them are really useful little like the little somethings. These are little somethings, aren't they? It's like you get one, two, three sheets of little somethings. Absolutely fab. And look, this, but look, it's bigger here. A fish. So when you're having a fish of a day, like I have sometimes, which is a day, if you if you haven't been following along and you're just journaling and you think I'm potty, a fish of a day is when one of those days where you either have to laugh or else you'll cry. And so if you're having a fish of a day, you could cut out this and put it on your on your page and say that was a fish of a day, but. You know, we got through it and we had a laugh, even though it was a serious thing. Let's um, let's release them from the paper. Isn't this lovely? They're all just details, really nice. Nice to then add something on the top. Gives you the option. Just wonderful backgrounds to start you off. So I'm going to stick this down. So nice to be asked. Just... Just lovely that I've been asked. Just to let you know, um, so Clee Black Creations are on YouTube, so you could have a little look and get some other design ideas uh, from her channel. Now, just to let you know, she is a German artist, and I've mentioned her before on this channel because I, I like just to watch her create I find it interesting I don't need to understand it's it's the language of art you just uh, sit there and you can absorb however um, it is possible to have the subtitles and follow along and she's just got the most amazing flip through journals that's the that's what I've enjoyed what looking at her winter journals are oh, so beautiful 
a real artist sits there for such a long time and creates. Okay, I'm slowly getting there. I'm enjoying this now. I'm relaxed and I'm settling in. I've got a nice little system going. So I am backing them onto the packaging paper. This is just standard packaging paper that comes to protect your deliveries. Nothing bought, all just junk through the door. And why am I backing it on packaging paper and not printing it out on thicker card? Good question, but I don't have any thicker card. I don't want to spend more money on thicker card when I've already got an abundance of scrap paper coming through the door through deliveries. And f lastly, when you're journaling with a digital kit, it's a very 2D experience because it's it's already been created. Now, the original design here was something that was created with um, acrylic paint on a jelly print and using cut out elements. This was a very three dimensional piece that uh, so the pieces there would have been cut out pieces and then added circles and torn elements and then the different colour of dye and paint and the whole thing would have been very tactile so the original artwork would have had um, th this is it's torn edges it, it was three-dimensional so when you're dealing with a digital kit it becomes two-dimensional again and the image can appear flat flatter but there are ways around that so here we've got this but if I've backed it um, and put on a glue and then put it onto a coffee dyed or tea dyed paper something that's undergone a process it's already a warped piece of paper in its nature you've then stuck it to a printed out uh, sheet of copy paper and you get the warped effect, which you may or may not like, but it brings a more pleasing texture to it. It's instantly gone from a flat piece of commercial paper to feeling like something more sensory, more interesting. So it, it just changes the feel of it. So that's that one. And then these ones backing onto that, that's a different texture again. So you're adding texture by backing it onto a different different weight or style of paper. It's an interesting trick to create something with intrigue and it doesn't always have to be visual. It's the feel of the paper. That's also what we're drawn to. And uh, yeah, one way of doing that is to back it with a piece of paper that is different from the copy paper. So by using two different styles of paper, you're already introducing new texture and making it more appealing to touch and use and journal with. One and a half inch circle punch here. I'm just going to line that up as best I can. Great. So preparing a digital kit is quite an art in itself. It's quite relaxing and just pinning everything down. And then it helps you actually. It's sort of a, a lovely starting point because it really does help you look at the detail of each of the pieces and start to plan. That's when the ideas for me seem to sort of conjure up. So the ideas I started with are now developing into something else because I'm sitting here quietly processing it all. And I can think, do I, you know, what other, what other ways in which I can use these circles with what I can see emerging here from being cut out? And I think that's really fun, the way a digital kit can do that. Because, yes, OK, so it's just some images. You cut them out, stick them down on some paper. But what if you could do a lot more? What if you could really push the boundaries of it and not just punch a hole in it and call it done. What if we could come up with some other ideas that are really interesting that could take it to a whole other level of intrigue and make your digital kits more fun to work with? So there's there's the one-time function of sticking them down, cutting them out, 
job done. How easy is that? That's lovely. But what if you could do something more three-dimensional or more interactive with the pieces? And that's where I think what, one of the reasons why I've been asked to come and do this is not... You know, anyone can stick down this and, and punch it out and those pieces be available to use but it's the ideas that I might be able to bring and I think that's why I've been asked to do this which is really lovely isn't it to sort of think that I've been selected because somebody somewhere thinks that I can come up with some ideas that are different <laughs> no pressure I've just been sitting here having a little look at the ephemera pieces and I can make out some of the words here because I think on some of the kits the script is in German but this is in English and I've just been reading it and this one on this journaling card is talking about clothing being sold so that's interesting and this one is a legal document um, regarding or maybe banking but it says here on loan to Fred <laughs> and this is um, about the balance of his allowance and something from my father oh, I can't read it Hang on. oh a present from my father um, 70 pounds left in National Bank left in the National Bank there you go a loan to Fred so it's money so that's old money for his present from his father that's really nice so he's having a little bit of a look in here um, now uh, Brigitte doesn't speak English so she has been intuitively crafting and this is talking about um, wool, cotton, satin, muslin, French, linen, and quilling, uh, quills, 12 inch quills from a shop. Really brilliant. Look, we've got the date 1903. We know all about that. So, Victor, late Victorian era, just about to become. Edwardian. Okay, so I've got a water one and a archival one. Let's see. Hmm. No, nope, don't like that. Changing that. So yellow's off. Too much yellow. We're going to pick out this lovely blue. I've got broken china, that will probably tie in. Pretty good, isn't it? So let's go around. Oh, that's better. There we go. Something different. I do like broken china. That seems to fit in with a lot of projects that I do. So you might like to get hold of one of those. And then we can just do that dip there. So the ink takes away the white edges. And we're not going to worry that those are curling up. You can run a warm iron over them, but they will flatten out. It's just they're in a process of drying. So they're curling up because those were one of the last ones I did. The glue hasn't quite dried yet, so they will settle down. I've been looking at my herb book and I just um, thought it would be lovely to add one of these images into the little journal there. And this is one where the signatures have come away, you know, it's broken. Um, that, the rest of it's fine. That's all in, that's lovely, isn't it? The rest of it's fine, but um, the front's fallen out. So the book is compromised, so we can go with that. And uh, often you do find some books that are damaged, and this was one of them, so it's worth having a hunt. So I'm going to take this, and I think it's it's lovely, and it's yellow, and it's sort of tying in and matching a bit, so I like that. So we're going to put that to one side. Yes. That's all I've cut out. That's all I'm going to cut out. I'm just going to see if these fit in here. Yes, they do, perfectly. So we'll have those, and this was a one and a half inch hole punch. So absolutely perfect. This is a lovely one, the flower. So this could be a lovely summery one as well. Nice circles. Okay, so we've got those. So here we go. So this is it. Clee Blatt. 
creation. And the kit that we are working here is the Collagraph Ephemera. Just thinking around the circle discs as well so that everything is matching and tying in. I've, I'm going to cut this page down because it was a bit too long for the journal. So I've cut this down to size but there's a big space there. Uh, so I've cut this out of the monochrome labels so that was that there and I've got this one here. So I might bring those in. We're just going to have that there. That could be a tuck couldn't it? That down. That's going to stay over there for the minute. We've got loads of ideas whizzing around. It's brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to glue all that all the way around and create another pocket again. There's a secret. There's going to be a secret little pocket in there. That's better. That's better. One way or another, you can manoeuvre them into a, a tight spot. Got a little space, so that could even live in there, like that. Right. Then I'm gluing down half, halfway across this one. Again, halfway. So if you've got any scraps, you could do something similar. Different way of using your digital kits. So I think that's really sweet. Little ticket, that is, isn't it? It's like a little ticket, a coloured circle. And then that will just suggest where to put the punch. You want to put a dot in the middle where you think the centre is and then... And then you'll be able to see it and you can punch it out. Take a pen, put, put a dot in the middle and then you'll be able to work out where the centre is. And then that's the bit. Okay, so I'm just putting this little silk scarf rag okay we don't always have to tie the tags on if they're going to lie flat inside the journal it's just quite nice to have a little something on the top so I'm just going to trim it off there and leave it like that and what I'll do is just put a blob of glue to secure the ribbon there and there. And then bring up, I think this is sari silk. I might have washed it and then it all got crinkled. So if I fan it out a little bit. Okay, right, what's next? So we've done that, that's brilliant. We want something to slip in there as well, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do here is sew these together and create a side tuck. I think that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to see if I like it and glue it down all the way around just on one side that's fine so that's, yeah so it's matching it doesn't need to I could have swapped them and have different but I think I think I prefer it matching for this okay so what we've now got is a double-sided pocket with a dip and it's like that and that can sit in the journal and be a holder. And I'm just having a look and seeing if this is going to look nice tucked in. I've got this handmade paper, which I think what I'll do is I'm going to back on that. So that added the strength from the packaging. And now I'm going to pretty it up with a scrap of 
of other paper and I'm going to sew it on to make a, a proper journaling card, something that's a little bit stronger. So what all I'm going to do is just work out, that's the back, so I'm going to glue that on. All right, linking this one up now. That one came together nicely. There we go, so that's that. And then that's going to be the other side. And I think that's really sweet. So I'm going to um, sew round those. Sew round those are my cards. What else might I like to sew round? I've got this idea. This is a belly band. And I did just see this trim which I think might be quite nice. Right, so that's that's the sewing pile. Okay, so these are interesting. Um, I've got four. I've got two signatures in my journal and I'm just thinking it might be nice to have some tabs. So if I bend these in half, they actually look very interesting. And what I might do is just glue them at the top, just let it sit, but just I want something that's just going to grab. So now we've got this, this is quite interesting. That's interesting in itself because you could maybe slip something in there, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is take my scallop scissors and cut away that okay okay now I've got a page tab put them in here and they are oh, they're gonna look great so they would poke out like that a little bit because I think that's it so those are those so these are going to be interesting. It may even be that we rotate it round and then that becomes something interesting on the page. So you're not losing out on that piece. You're just repositioning it. So we'll come back to that idea. This is so much fun because I haven't really planned it. I've just come to the table to play and create. So I'm really enjoying this. I'm going to glue down there and stick that in and just say that that is sort of like a stamp. I might even come round here with that. No, it's got to be that way. That's it. So that sort of looks a bit like a stamp. Glue down there and pop that on that front side. And then a little bit of lace. I know, they're not my fabric scissors, I'm really sorry, I can't find them. I have a tin of scissors and when I get going on a project I start out with all scissors present and correct and then midway through the project I find that I am down to one pair of scissors. Look, I've got three on the desk and because they are out of my line of sight they don't exist. It's, it's really strange. So yes, and none of them are fabric ones, so I don't know where they've gone. They are probably still where they're supposed to be, I just haven't looked. <laughs> this is why I like this craft, because there are many crafts where you can have a very strong, stringent discipline, but junk journaling is not one of those crafts. You can break the rules and do what you like, and if you want to use your scissors for the purpose of doing things wrong, that's fine. That's okay. Get them. Get junk journaling scissors. Get fabric scissors only for junk journaling, and then you can be okay knowing that you can have them for paper and fabric and be a complete rebel crafter. Okay, back from the sewing machine. Can anybody remember any of those memory cards? I'm. I've got scissors, paint roller, pineapple, glasses. I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll remember next week, but I won't remember now. 
Okay, so sewn belly band with wibbly wobbly copper thread, loving that. Um, journaling card with wibbly wobbly thread and then I've put some coffee stain on the end there. I, I changed the um, idea of that just because my stitching was a bit off, it didn't look great on the white and so I decided to just put some coffee dyed paper on the back of that one. So that's that. Then we've got this one, that's fine, and I've kept it like that because that was okay. It's sort of tied in. I think what I'd done is I'd stuck the white the wrong way round so you didn't see the little pieces, which are interesting. So that's one with, and that's a different look, and that covers up the sewing, so it's still a writing space. It's a bit thicker as well, which is quite nice. So there's two journaling cards. Um, so we've got a tag, a journaling card, then we've got these nice pockets. So they've worked out, so we can tuck things in there. We've got these tabs, um, four tabs, two journaling cards, another tag over there, a belly band, two pockets, which can go either way, but we're going to have them this way to be a bit different. In fact, what we're going to do is add the journaling card in there. And in here, super. And then I'm going to use one of my circles here and going to have it there. So just trying to choose one I like. Okay, I'm going to stick those down. So that's how that will look. I love that, that's great. So that will now live in there. Fabulous. So I've got this. Right, those are the done ones. Let's move those out. Everything's done. We're going to put them in the journal. And then this idea. I'm going to have that. What have I got? Okay, five of those. And then another tag. Let's just have another tag with one of these. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just stick down the top of this onto... So we'll just do that and then the bottom as well and this is going to become a little belly band on the tag and then so I'm just going to cut a few bits out here and see what I like this one as well and then I'm going to have the B I think up here so they're just brilliant little snippet labels. They're really great sizes. They can just nip into most projects and I just think it's so lovely to have labels at your disposal in this size of little mini labels that you can cut out, put in your ephemera holder that we've been making. I'll leave the link below to the one I showed you earlier. Uh, if you haven't already seen and it. And then these things can come and live here and um, be a bit different. Okay, I'm just using the frayed burlap going round there. I'm going to stick that on there. Just go around again with this. This is little um, 
says October. It's got a little calendar. Nice little label with a little calendar on it, little image of. That's really sweet, so I'm going to stick that down it's not there. attach too much, so it shouldn't affect the belly band idea. Okay, Buzzy Bee. This one as well. And that is like that. So there we go. So we've got that and that one. And then we've got these ones which are plainer. We did have another one. Here he is. So we've got those. And they will go on the pages. And they're like that on the back. Then we've got this. Oh, I've done loads. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see what we've ended up with. So we've got the four. Let's lay it out so we can see. So those are the four tabs that have been altered. We've got two tags with interactive elements. The belly band. Another tag two pockets and two journaling cards and then I've got this idea which would become a tuck so that's like a little tuck point which could go that way as well but that doesn't look so good so the reason the reason that these are front and back is because I want to hinge them in and how I will do that is with, with this. I shall use those as the hinge pieces. They'll probably want backing with a bit of card and I will decorate up the sides with something. Is to cut it away. And then fold that in half. That's the bit that I would stick and that would be my page with the flip. So that would flip out. Oops, that's an idea. One final thing is to just clip away that as a finger dip. was one of these tuck pockets which I've just folded in half so there's another one there if I want to do that. That becomes, you know, it could be like that. Pop it, it could go that way as well, I might prefer it that way. So you've, we've got, we could make some more of those hinge pieces, little tag, all sorts. Okay, so that's all to come, all how I will put it in there. But I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen pieces of ephemera off of two sheets of paper. Three, two or three sheets of paper, I can't remember now, any more than I can remember the little memory cards. But I do know that I've had an immense amount of fun creating and, uh, and sitting here and being really pleased with myself as I've been able to enjoy that immensely. So this is the little journal. I have cheated by putting some dye on the paper, that speciality ink and uh, tea. And so now we've got all the papers put in here. They're quite uniform, so it's going to be a semi-naked journal. But there are there is going to be this element coming in here. And so what I think I will do... Well, it could go that way. So what I think I'll do is I'll play around with it. I'll see where everything looks quite nice, just as uh, some extra embellishment. And then all of these pieces can be removed. And we can hinge things in and have them swinging out. We can um, have tags and tickets 
maybe that wants to be a tuck and that's glued down and we've still got the ability to have a little note put in there. I've put some of my other bits that I've made. So we've got that in there, but I might want to exchange that now and put that in there for a more cohesive look, which everything will then tie in. So we could have tags being brought in here now. And we'll put them on the pages. I've got this piece which is going to go in as well on one of the signatures. But that's how it's looking. We're getting there. And then this one is going to be all direct decorated up with all of these ephemera pieces. Everything's going to go in here. And then this is going to go for sale. It's my lovely little autumn traveller's notebook. Brightly, co brightly coloured scraps and a lot of fun. And um, there we go, this is all going to be added to it. So hopefully that's been of value and use to you to see how you could use a kit. Totally different from where we started, but bringing in elements and things that you can buy. And everything can be got from Klee Blatt Creations. The link is below and you'll be able to see how you could create this for yourself at home if you have a printer. Um, if not, you've seen the elements here, the shapes and the ideas. You could recreate that with cardstock or papers, different coloured papers that you have. So this isn't anything special. It's something that you could all have a go at. I hope you found a lot of fun and value here and you take yourself off to your quiet crafting spaces and really enjoy this just as I have because it is it is fun once everything's cut out to play about and see how you would rearrange it. That would be really interesting. And just so you know, these are all the scraps that I've had off of that. This is really all the scraps. That's it. And uh, if we're clever with it, we can make that into a little cluster and just sort of have that going on as well somewhere so there we go Kleeblatt creations and that's from Brigitta thank you so much I am part of her design team now and I am thoroughly enjoying the experience if you found value here do please like and subscribe and above everything else guys slow down and make crafting time for you bye bye now